are having a blessed day today. We are here with our next project and you'll be excited to know that it is a brandy new but different design potato chip block. I've been playing around with it and I've kind of missed it so I decided to cut up a bunch. We're going to do kind of a rainbow theme but the layout is going to be a little different. So let me turn around We are here at the machine, as you can see, my lovely Singer 301. And we're doing this in rainbow fashion. We're doing a baby quilt. So that is going to be three blocks by four blocks. Each of these pieces is two and a half inches by four and a half inches unfinished. And the blocks finish out at 12 inch finished. 12 and a half inch unfinished. Now I am using my some of my Riley Blake Hush Hush Jelly Roll for the low volume or for the white and these are cut kind of large so just keep that in mind if you're using that with your own hand cut jelly roll pieces. Okay little camera adjustment. So as I was saying these are larger than two and a half inches wide so just keep that in mind you're going to want the pinks on this piece to stick out beyond the, the scant quarter inch seam allowance. You can of course cut them all down. I'm doing rainbow of 12 so we're starting at blue, turquoise, green, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple and then reversing to pink, red, orange and yellow. We are going to start with the blue and this pattern I'm not going to tell you until you see it. Let's say you would possibly find it on a treasure map. The blocks start with two pieces being sewn vertically together and I am going to chain piece this. So now it's going to be two turquoise. It is a cold day here on the mountain. It's been in the 30s all day. And according to Sanjay, we are supposed to get freezing rain overnight and in the morning. So that's always fun. I was supposed to go to the grocery store today because we're supposed to be getting snow the next several days. Did I go? No, I did not. Pardon my head. I'm working with some new lights. I hope the lighting is better. Okay, that's orange. Now we're going to do the red. Purple. Back to pink. And back to red. And orange. And yellow. I wish there was a way for me to double this and lay out 16 blocks. That way, actually, no, I would need 15 blocks. I would suggest leaving these in a neat stack so you know where you left off. Green, yellow, orange, red, pink, orange, and yellow is back here. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to finger press. Okay, sorry, my camera, my camera died. I chain pieced the center two pieces and the next portion of the block are these two pieces on top and bottom. So we'll sew those on. The next is green, actually. No. Okay. Did you ever have one of those days when you knew you really shouldn't be operating dangerous equipment? That's the day I had. I started sewing the colored pieces to the top and bottom of the centers in error. I should have been sewing white. I finally realized the mistake and then I went through the process of sewing them all back the way they should be with the white pieces on the top and bottom. And then I realized that my camera was not recording. So after that adventure, I discovered that this next clip that you're watching shows me sewing together the two vertical pairs of colored fabrics 
that go on the left and right of the centers. Apparently, I decided not to say anything during this clip. I just said nothing the entire clip. So what I am doing here is I am just taking the two vertical pairs that go on left and right of the center and sewing them on. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, apparently, apparently I wasn't recording. So this is our block so far, and I have sewn these two pairs together for both sides. And we're taking our block and just sewing them on either side. And I am lifting so that the seams can lay the way they were finger pressed to do. Okay, I will come back as soon as I have all of these sewn on. Again, once we're done sewing this side on, we're taking our other stack and we're putting it on this side. Okay, we are back with our blocks. I gave them a bit of a pressing and now we are going to be doing the top and the bottom and those are two pieces and they are two pieces of our low volume background and we need it for the top and the bottom so we're taking there should be six pieces left of our low volume so we'll need four and they will go together up on the top like that and then down here along the bottom okay so it's identical to the sides that we just did. So I'll turn the camera off so you don't have to have a brain melt. And I will come back as soon as I have them put together. I wanted to come back and show you this. This was from the old jelly roll that I had of the Riley Blake Hush Hush low volume fabrics. I had a jelly roll of it. And if you recall in previous potato chip block quilts that we've done, we had an issue because these were oversized. I have a second jelly roll of Riley Blake Hush Hush, and I just opened it. And you can see the size difference here. So just check your sizes so you know if you have to account for any under or oversized things. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the thinner one and I'm centering it across the wider piece. And that way, the differences will be hidden inside of the seam allowance. So if your pieces are not consistent size and you know about it, you can account for it inside the seam allowance. All right, here we go. We are going to take all of our pairs of background fabric and sew them on the top and on the bottom. And I'll take, what I'll do is I'll take it off and I'll do both sides with you. And then I'll turn the camera off and do the rest. Okay, so there is the first size. Okay, and now here is the next. So when you're done with this round, this is what your block should look like. And I will come back when I have all of these done. Look at my pants. I don't think, don't know if you can see. See all the, all the flotsam and jetsam? Meet George Jetson. All off from, from all these pink edges. Okay, let me get to sewing and I will be back. Okay, we're on the last round. So there are all our blocks and I'll show you what these panels will look like. Okay, that is what is what our sides are going to look like. You're going to have two of your color on the end and one of the background. Here is the other side of that block. Okay, so I'll show you what it'll look like here. Pick these up, get them out of the way. So that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to have an X. X marks the spot. You just need to follow this trail all the way to the end and the mark X. So I'm going to sew all of these together and this thing will be done. We are now on the home stretch. Here is our side panels and they will go on like that and like that. So can you see the X? I think it looks cool. 
there is our finished block and I can see the X. So I will come back to you as soon as I have all of these sewn on and I'll give them a good pressing and then I will put them up on the design wall and this project will be done. Well, here we are, YouTube, all done. And I hope you can see the X's and the white centers kind of look like plus signs. So I think this is really, really came out cute. Go in for a close up. So you can see the X going this way and this way. And I've rotated every other block. So this was a real short, short video today. I did the whole quilt in two hours. You can do this also. What really saves time is if you're if you're having a day where you have no inspiration, pull out all your scrap fabric and start cutting it. And then you can sort it in color combinations or patterns or whatever whatever combination you like and put them away. And that way when you have a day where you're just uninspired, pull out your squares and start putting them together. Again, this is the potato chip block that was designed by Brenda Logan from Conquering Mount Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda. And this is called a potato chip block because it's impossible to just make one block. They're just so much fun and they're so addicting and there's so many different ways of putting them together. And I just had no inspiration this week. I was really hitting a wall and I opened up EQ and I opened up my potato chip block project and I started playing with colors and all of a sudden I got an X. So I'm calling this one X marks the spot and I hope you do give it a try. Again, two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. Cut them, sew them, have a blast. Thanks so very much for being with me here today and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and if you'd really like to help me out, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share my videos with your friends and on your social media and come back here for my next project real soon. And I want you all to have a fantastic week, a blessed day, a blessed life. And I love you all so very much. And I thank you for hanging out with me today. Take care. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.